Now comes the final commandment about the Shahr Ramadan, the month of Ramadan. Shahr Ramadan, alladhi yunzila fihi al-Quran. Month of Ramadan is the month in which Quran was sent down. I had already discussed it in my preliminary lecture. Quran was sent down in two stages. Stage number one, from the Kitab al-Mahfuz, Lahim Mahfuz, Kitab al-Maknoon, Fi Umm al-Kitab, to the first heaven, to the first sky. And that was done in total, at once, one piece, in one night, that night is Dalat al-Qadr, and in one month, that was Ramadan. That is Inzal, Shahr al-Ramadan al-Ladhi unzila fi al-Quran, inna anzalnahu fi Lalat al-Qadr. And second stage was that from there, the Archangel, Archangel Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam brought down Quran bit by bit, piece by piece, to the heart of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this second stage took 22 years, beginning in the year 610 of Christian era and ending in the year 632 of the Christian era when Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam died. So these are the two stages. شهر رمضان الذي انزل فيه القرآن خدا للناس مبينات من الهدى والفرقان and what is this Quran? the guidance for whole of humanity now we can very easily compare here we find guidance for whole of humanity and in the beginning of this surah was guidance for the muttaqeen خدا للمتقين how do you correlate with both? that in itself it is guidance it keeps and it holds it has the guidance for the whole of humanity. But you know, only those will be able to avail the guidance of Quran who have real taqwa in them, who are God-fearing, who want to save them, who have the real and living moral law within them. The sense, moral sense is there. They know what is bad, what is good. They want to be good. For them only, they can only avail the, from the guidance of this book. Huda. <laughs> And this guidance is in very clear terms, bayyinat, self-evident. Wal furqan, and the criterion between good and bad, evil and good, between false and real. Faman shahida min shahra fal yasub. Now whosoever of you witnesses this month, he has to keep fasting throughout the month. Fal yasub ho. This pronoun ho is going towards Shara Ramadan. The whole month of Ramadan, you have to keep fasting. وَمَنْ كَانَ مَرِيدًا عَلَىٰ سَفَرٍ Of the original two concessions, one has been retained. And that is why it has been repeated. Whosoever among you is ill or sick, or عَلَىٰ سَفَرٍ Or he is on some travel, فَعِدَّةُ مِنَ يَابِ الْأُخَرِ He will complete the number. If the number was 30 days of Ramadan, you have to complete 30 days. If the number was that year 29 days of Ramadan, you have to complete, complete 29 days. That number of the month of Ramadan has to be completed. The second concession is now abrogated. That is no more. But here also we find, you know, from the wisdom of the Prophet ﷺ, that he has retained for a, a very extreme cases, a man who is very sick, very sick, and he cannot keep fasting. There is fear that he may die. And other, a person he is suffering from a disease from which there is no hope of recovery. And he cannot bear this hardship of fasting. For them, you know, the Prophet ﷺ has retained that option that in place of one fasting, one day of fasting, they can feed one poor person. But not generally. Not the healthy people. Not the people who can, who can go to fast. They don't, they cannot avail of this concession now. This is gone forever. Allah intends for you easiness, ease, not difficulty. Don't be cruel to yourself. If you are suffering from fever, high fever, don't keep the fast. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you the concession, He intends for you ease, not difficulty. But anyhow, you have to complete the figure, the, the number now. That is obligatory. That, that figure, that number is to be completed. And so that you glorify Allah 
Rather, the word should be magnify Allah. Takbir means to make something bigger and bigger. Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest. So now the saying Allahu Akbar, this is takbir. But actually only saying is not sufficient. To make Allah supreme, to make the deen of Allah supreme, so that he is obeyed in all aspects of life. It is actually takbir of the Rabb. That he is really accepted as great, as the biggest, as the greatest, as the authority, as the sovereign. Sovereignty blessed with him. So actually this is takbir. But this takbir, in, you know, after the psalm, after the month of Ramadan, when there is Eid, then we have special tak takbir. In the Salah of Eid, there are additional takbir. This takbir saying Allahu Akbar is also takbir. And this takbir is on the, the guidance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. You should magnify him, glorify him on the guidance that he gave you. The blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that came to you in the form of Quran. And so that you can really be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now this has a very deep meaning. As I told you, man is composed of two constituent parts. The animal existence, the material existence and the spiritual existence. Both are self-sufficient and independent, joined together. The tendencies of both are different, rather opposite, opposite to each other. One has come from this earth, from the clay of the earth, from the crust of the earth. The other has come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yasaluna ta'ali ruh kuli ruha min amri rabbi. Our animal being, the sources, this earth. And I, everything that we need for this animal being, for its feeding, for its requirements, all things come from there, from the earth. The food is coming from there. Everything which rejuvenates this body, this animal existence, coming from the earth. And now for this ruh, something that comes from him, from whom the ruh has come, that is the only thing that can give him it the strength, the real life the vigor this ruh needs you know feeding and the food of this this ruh and the spirit is the word of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it is in itself manifestation of the word of kun kun fayakun every ruh of ours is a word of kun from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you know its strength would be it will be strengthened it will be revived it will be rejuvenated it will be revitalized by the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by Quran. And that is what we are doing. Keeping the fast during the day and during the night we are awake with this Quran. Actually this is the two-pronged attack for this spiritual purification during the month of Ramadan. During the day you are with fast. You are suppressing your animal existence. You are weakening it. At least some weakening is there. Although the weather may be very good, but then starvation, refraining from food and drinking, it, it has that effect, definite effect. And then in the night, keep awake, stand, listen to Allah's kalam, his words, let it be absorbed in the soils of your hearts and, and your minds. And that is actually, then you will know what a big blessing this Quran is. And then you will be able to Give the thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala proportionately.